my dear friends welcome back to belgian farm right now we are sitting in our front yard that we have cleaned up from uh, overgrown trees and mud somewhere around three four months ago i'll put a link to the video here um, by the way this video went viral and we got over one million viewers already you were asking in the comments what is her name it's a girl and she's Annika Annika <laughs> she's very nice very lovely so yeah since then <laughs> as you can see we haven't done anything here we um, uh, yeah we didn't clean up anymore and uh, the nature is coming back to life and wants her territory back it's not that we are lazy, no, but uh, the reason behind that we would need to uh, take out some stones to uh, put uh, the pipes for rainwater collection and for septic system. That's why we are not working uh, on this project anymore. Um, it just makes no sense. But we need to take all these weeds under control. And we were looking for a way. We try to avoid um, applying chemicals and using chemicals whenever it's possible. So we were looking for some eco-friendly way to get rid of them. And we found it. Let me show you the result. Do you see the difference? Ilya did a test run on this area three weeks ago and it lasts like f for a very long period of time. I'm just amazed with how good it worked. He burned the grass with a propane torch, I guess that's how it's called, but our is not professional, it's a small one. We just bought it to, uh, to try it out and it worked. So we will need to buy some more professional one because the area is pretty big. You don't have to burn them completely, just a, just a bit, they just start to fade and um, yeah, after two days they were completely gone. And a rest. <laughs> so what's on the agenda today? Not a lot. We cleaned up our backyard from the rest of the construction ways that was laying there and causing lots of dust and it just needed to be gone. And since we cancelled our gym memberships and we were looking for a way to burn some calories, we decided to do all the job ourselves. Enjoy their beautiful and relaxing cleanup time lapse and pay attention to the sky, it's amazing. Good start.
all your advices are very much appreciated. I noted them all. Uh, but we decided to start an experiment with two of the easiest ones. A bit cheating, yeah? So we want to uh, let the tiles, terracotta tiles, uh, yeah, there are rests, so it will be not that bad if something goes wrong. Uh, let them soak one in water, this is for water, and one in vinegar. Um, a lot of advices for both methods. So we, uh, we want to try and let them soak. So one I put in, into the water and one I put into the vinegar. And let them soak uh, in the water a bit longer for like for a couple of days, 48 hours and a vinegar, I guess less. And it already starts, the reaction starts actually. You can see the little bubbles. Hmm. So the results. Wow. Yeah, we don't have to clean them. We don't have some to clean them until we get So this is the result. Actually, we don't have to clean this completely, yeah? We just need to be on the Yeah, on the sides. Sides. What? Well, it works. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. We need a lot of winning. Yeah. <laughs> and also we need to find a way where we can utilize this. Maybe we can... I, I yeah, really yeah. hope that uh, the water will work the same. Yes. No, it's almost the same. Yeah. Yeah, to let it soak a bit more. Okay. I have. <laughs> yeah, yeah Elias always have has an extra plan B. <laughs> this one was soaked for five days, I guess. Yeah, yeah. something like this. Four. Also much bigger. Yeah, it's much bigger. There, it's a layer of more. It doesn't work. So what are the results? On this, on these two pieces, it worked well for both. Yeah. But maybe because the mortar was. Thinner. Mm. You know, the, we were advised a lot of mechanical ways of how to clean them with a special. Uh, on Instagram, some people were reaching out to me and advising how to clean them, how to arrange a special, um, I don't know, stand where you can just cut this mortar with a grinder and then uh, with a putty knife just to. Yeah, to chip it off. So it may work. I, I would still go for the mechanical way. Yeah, but we will do that much later. It's your hobby for the next year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or my. <laughs> Thank you.
so more or less clean now. I would say less clean than more, but it's okay for now. Yeah, for it's, it's it lo looks much better than it looks with all this dust and bricks. So a bit more under control. Yeah. Also, I wanted to remove this stuff. This is a drinking bowl for the pigs. Yeah, but it's yes. really, really nice done. It's really strong concrete here. So uh, I spent almost 10 minutes or more, 15 minutes to remove this small part. <laughs> so, and I yeah, stopped. Yeah, who knew that the drinking bowls for the pigs will be the more the sturdiest construction in the whole barn? <laughs> but we decided, yeah, it just yeah. will stay here. Yeah, it's fine right now. So mm. right now we have a lot of space. They can put some trees here. Finally, some green, <laughs> some green. Yeah. Here. Yeah. yeah, it's nice patio. <laughs> Okay, that's it for today. Thank you very much yeah. for joining us today. See you next week. Like and subscribe. Bye. Bye.